Welcome back ladies and gents. In this YouTube video, I'll be looking at 6.1 probability distributions part 1. Now 6.1 represents chapter 6, section 1 of the Pearson A-Level Maths Applied Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Firstly, what is a random variable? A random variable is a variable represented by a capital letter. For example, capital X, capital Y, capital Z, etc. That takes on values that are outcomes of an experiment. Let's go through some examples. Let capital X be the number of tails you get when you flip a coin twice. Here is the sample space diagram. You could get two heads, one head, one tail, one tail, one head, or two tails. Capital X takes on the values 0, 1, or 2. You could get zero tails, one tail, or two tails when you flip a coin twice. Let's have a look at another example. Let capital Y be the number that a six-sided dice lands on after being rolled. So capital Y takes on the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. These are the numbers that appear on a fair six-sided dice. Let's focus on some important notations. The lowercase x represents the value that capital X takes. The lowercase y represents the value that capital Y takes. This reads as probability that capital X takes on the value lowercase x. And this reads as the probability that capital Y takes on the value lowercase y. Now, let's focus on probability distribution. The probability distribution of a random variable x can be represented in two different forms. Number one, table form, or number two, mass function form. Let's have a look at an example. Let capital X be the number that a fair six-sided dice lands on. So, capital X takes on the values one, two, three, four, five, or six. The probability distribution for x can be represented in two forms, either the table form or the mass function form. Let's focus on the table form. There are two rows. The first row represents the capital X taking on the value lowercase x, where lowercase x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 in this scenario. And the second row represents the probability that capital X takes on the value lowercase x. So this probability 1 out of 6 is the probability that capital X takes on the value 1. In other words, the probability that you roll a 1, 1 out of a possible 6 outcomes. This probability is the probability that capital X takes on the value 2. In other words, the probability that you roll a 2. Again, 1 out of a possible 6 outcomes. The probability is a constant throughout. Now in mass function form, we write this. The probability that capital X takes on the value lowercase x is equal to this output over here, 1 over 6, if lowercase x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So that there is a probability distribution for x in mass function form. In this scenario, the probability is a constant for all values of capital X, as you can see. So we say that x has a uniform distribution, it has a special type of distribution. Now from GCSE, we know this key fact. The sum of probability capital X equal lowercase x is equal to 1. Probabilities add up to 1. Okay, now let's focus on continuous versus discrete random variables. A discrete random variable takes on finite number of values. A continuous random variable takes on infinite number of values. In year 1 maths, we focus on discrete random variables. Over here, you can see that these discrete random variables are actually discrete because they take on finite number of values, not an infinite number of values. Right, so that there was continuous versus discrete random variables. Independent events. Two events A, B are independent if probability A and B is equal to probability A multiplied by probability B. Okay, so that there is the definition of two events being independent. These are all the key facts for 6.1 probability distributions. In part 2 of the video, I'll be implementing these key facts within exam style questions. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a teaching video.